a uh, hint? That's very unlikely. Yeah, that's what you said about Pinot Grigio, mate. <laughs> I thought it was a pretty tight lip files, you. All right, we are doing it again. Blind wine tasting, and of course, as always, we'd love to thank Sometimes Always for sorting us out with all of the wines we tried today. And if you join our wonderful Discord channel, you can get 10% off all of the wines we enjoy today. And also, we should point out that, unfortunately, Brendan is unable to join us for the next couple of weeks, but luckily for us, we have an absolutely amazing wine professional within the Team Unico family uh, who looks after all of the customer service and all the wine that you get in our subscription services. Uh, please welcome Amanda Reynoso. Amanda, in-house resident. So I'm here replacing Brendan for a couple of weeks. They want me to say that I'm the resident wine guru, but I'm not. <laughs> Sweet. Another Monday, another six wines. Mmm, smells like grape juice. Mm. Deep ruby red, almost like a little bit of black in there as well. So it, I reckon this might be a big boy. This could be a big boy. Definitely Australian. I'm thinking Barossa, like Grenache, Shiraz, maybe a Shiraz blend. It's like quite hot. That's yummy. Um, ooh, a little bit of a kick on the end. Oh, my weekend is catching up with me. Fresh cherry, like scent to it. It it reminds me a lot of Grenache, like but without the stemmy herbaceousness that you generally get with it. Pepper and spice in the palate, but it's not super complex. It's like heaps of fruit, kind of like like a juice box, like a blackcurrant kind of juice box thing. Like it's a bit brighter than like a heavy Shiraz or something like that. So I don't think it's leaning in that direction. Um, I honestly can't think of another red wine variety that's not Shiraz or Pinot right now. It's really not that much there. It's like not complex. Like nothing really holding my fancy to it. Like it's just fruit, bit of spice, nice little bit like old oak, I think. It's freaking really good. And I feel like it might set you back a pretty penny because it is that well-crafted. And I think it, whoever has made this knows absolutely what they're doing and they're not fucking around. And it's great. All right, wine number two. Interesting, I reckon this has got a little bit of age on it. It smells woody. He's done it. You're not gonna believe this, but I actually think it might be Chardonnay. Uh, Love the smell of this. It's like kind of getting into that early stone fruit character, like almost like a white nectarine. Thinking maybe Margaret River, Shannon. It's got really nice acid. Orig originally, I thought it could have been a shardy just because it smells a bit like there's a, like they use a bit of oak. The oak on that is really fantastic. Like it's not intrusive or invasive. It's not over the top. It's just really f subtly in the background. And it's. Smooth, it's delicious. Oh yeah, I really, really, really like this wine. It subverts expectations, which is something that TV show writers try to do a lot, but this winemaker's doing a lot better than you. That's awesome. Yeah, big, big, big fan. I enjoy this style of wine quite, quite a lot. It's nothing that's going to thrill me to the umpteenth degree, but it serves a purpose, and that purpose is to be enjoyed pretty frequently. Yeah, it's all right. It is a bit hot, but in saying that, it's also got like incredible length and drive, so I'm still really tasting it, which is delicious. I'll be intrigued. I want to see this in a little bit of time. I want to see this over a, a longer period of time, but I think it's a great wine. It's a definitely stupendously crafted. Let's get on to this one. So I thought that one was going to smell woody, and it did. This one, I think it's going to be a little bit cleaner. Yeah, straight away, just scream Savvy B. Um, it's not a bad thing. I actually don't mind Savvy Blanc. I prefer it from Sunset. This is definitely not Sunset. Well, it's definitely off dry. It's definitely got some sweetness to it. So it definitely could, it could well be Moscato Dusty. Mmm, yum. This smells like, uh, this is wine to a wine. This is this shit that like, just mass pleasing, smells kind of sweet on the nose, and then tastes like, tastes a little bit sweet as well. Yeah, it just smells like um, gooseberry, guava, a little bit of, like fresh cut grass, heaps of fucking passion fruit. It's not Moscato. What it is is fucking great. Holy shit. It tastes like the Adelaide Hills to me. So, just because I've done a lot of wine tours in the Adelaide Hills, not because I know what the variety tastes like in the hills. Um, um, that is that perfect balance of acid to sweetness. Like, it, it feels like a finishes dry, but that's got that luscious, full palate weight that really ties it all together. Being savvy bait, it's probably not going to be as expensive. So, let's say 30 again. I have a glass. It's been a bit harsh, haven't I? And back to a light, lighter shade of red. 
mm, carbonic. So straight away, jumping out of the, gra uh, the glass is um, this lovely kind of like bubble gum, confected, like really like red, red skins. I don't feel like to call them anymore that, but. You know those like bath soaps that old women put in their underwear drawers? Not that I'm spending a lot of time in all. Oh God. That my mum puts in my sock drawer when I was growing up, right? That sort of thing. Um, smells like perfume is the point. Oh my God, what an idiot. It's got a bit of lifted acidity, but it really carries these kind of musky perfumed characters out of the wine. It smells awesome. With the right food, it could be really good though, like lovely pork or even like some kind of like heavier roasted chicken. That'd be really awesome when you don't need anything too complex. Yum, 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 yum. This kind of tastes like musk sticks or, you know, the Lifesavers lollies, the little round ones? It kind of tastes like one of them. Um, I'd probably take three bottles of that. I kind of, it's not as hot as the other wines we've had. Um, a little bit more approachable, can easily have that with food. I extremely enjoy this wine and I think I will grab half a dozen, please. And I hope it costs me $30. $30 would be lovely if it is that because this is that chilled red that I think is a fridge filler. Like you want this around pretty regularly. All right, wine number five. Color, wow, so intense. This is like so nutty and oxidative. Ah, uh, this smells like cricket bat. Good cricket bat, like English willow. None of that cashmere willow that everyone used to teach you about having in primary school. Chardonnay, definitely. Aged Chardonnay. The color was throwing me at first. Nope, this ain't it. I bet you the other two really like this wine, but this just ain't it for me. There's a lot of things that are it cheap and this just doesn't happen to be one of them. Outrageous. Well, 12 bottles, please. Um, holy shit, that's fucking sick. It's still got heaps of acidity. It's actually really nice. Acid dry for days, it's delicious. I'm gonna guess it's t textural Chardonnay. I um, think it's gonna be pretty spenny. I reckon 50 baht and I want one bottle of it. I reckon that's gonna buck the curve because I reckon the people who actually know anything about wine probably really enjoy this one. Nice oak though. It's like restrained and kind of, it's not in your face oak. It's it's more kind of ingrained into like probably fruit and acidity. It's just really nicely kind of bound together out there it's not like a big fruity juicy wine but it's definitely it's textural it's tertiary it's savory it's mealy it's fucking so delicious nice little red to finish us off like perfectly medium and we've covered this we've covered the red spectrum all right beautiful color again not really muted but like there's fruit there definitely it's kind of like soft violets and like talky really pretty. It's not my, um, it's not my Italian Ferrari of the reds that we had this week, but it's good. A little bit more acid maybe. I'm not entirely sure acid. This is great. This is really good stuff. I like green, nice green tannin, lovely acid lime. Uh, feels pretty new world in its way, but it's been absolutely beautifully made. I'm thinking Adelaide Hills Pinot. That's lovely, like crunchy red apple. Giving me Yara, like it's not a cool climate Pinot. I'm gonna write acid question mark. Varietally, um, such a perfectly orchestrated wine. Just fruit weight to, to tertiary, like tannin and oak and all that kind of stuff, and acidity. I reckon it's 40 bucks, and I'd like three bottles. Pinks, red apple, lovely like kind of red cherries almost. It's yum, it's really good. $35 for me. I love that we've got like so many, I'm, I've lost all my money, I'm broke. I need, a, I need another job. But, um, Let's get the other two back in and see how we went. Yes, we did it again. Not the best lineup that we've had, but I reckon there were some in there that really did shine. I think sometimes having a couple of um, ones that I like less makes me enjoy the ones that I do like even more. Okay, yeah, fair chat. Mm. It's good contrast. I agree. I thought there was a lot of like kind of juice boxes in there, but then there was a couple of, there's one or two kind of highlights. <laughs> For me, honestly, I thought that was one of the better line lineups that we've done. So oh. it's good to have a diverse opinion. We on do, the panel. let's have some For once. All so. right, one number one, definitely something kind of old school. Shit. Australian. Hey, yeah, like, yeah, it's actually probably a good Father's Day gift. Yeah. Uh, if this episode will come out in time, so get on sometimes always for your dad. Uh, Lockie, what is it? 33 bucks, good value. Yeah. I think I said around that price point, I think. Uh, I thought it was a bit better. Is it Aussie? Oh, no. Oh, it's got a fancy little uh, neck wave. You think you're all that in a pack of the chips? Primitivo. Holy also shit. Also known as Zinfandel. Uh, yeah, so that oh, definitely, awesome. that definitely feels Italian. Um, I that overall, I actually think it's a pretty cool wine. If you haven't tried Zinfandel before, where where what regions is it from? 
Coolio. Okay, yeah, cool. If you haven't had Primitiva from Coolio, probably a little, good little entry level start before I get a little bit more gnarly. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's gonna turn. That's pretty restrained from Coolio and Zinfandel, so... Yeah. Yep. Next, textural white of some description. Guess yep. what I thought it was. What did you think it was? Chardonnay, You're baby. probably on the money here. Nah. Lots of what we're doing. 23 bucks! That's exceptional value. Spoiler a case three. or... Nah. Oh. Wow, holy shit! What is it? This is, this is Barossa. So this is Lola, Barossa Valley, okay. Semillon Claret Viognier Vermentino. Wow. That's oh yeah, of course we were all wrong. Wow. So, But to make a wine of that restraint and that quality from the Barossa, Barossa Valley, yeah. from those varieties, wine. is fantastic. And that's what makes this guy such a fucking incredible winemaker. Yeah. Number three, uh, this is that kind of little off dry, little I didn't even delightful. get off dry. Didn't wow. get off dry? Nice. That is I got a little bit sweet off dry ass. Yeah. Oh man, was on the piss. Oh man. Night. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, we get the song and she's hung over. Oh, what the fuck's <laughs> yeah. going on? Uh, Lockie, what do we got? I thought it was around 60 bones. 35. What? Uh, it was Sav! Uh, that says Pinot Gris! No, 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 no. It was, it's not, it, just, it looks like Sav. Right. Uh, but this is Gr Pinot Gris Gruner blend. So, like, Sav in blood. Yeah. Stick that in your fucking Riesling Holy and smoke shit. it. How's that? So, Pinot Gris, yeah. That's mental. I thought that was... Like really? Uh, number four, uh, light red, musky little number. Um, but overall, pretty yummy wine. Uh, what do we got here, Lockwood? Twenty nine. Holy Ooh, shit! Well, these were on a cheap wine. What is this? This is good. Lansdowne. It yeah. is Pinot Noir from the Abbey Hills. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to upgrade your like status from the everyman to the not so everyman. These are magic sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> That's what these are. These. It's not Italian, is it? No, it's from the Abbey Hills. So. Close. Yeah, bro. Yeah, a bit. Cut the hemispheres away. Uh, number five. Uh, my favorite one. My favorite yeah. one. Yeah, that was a uh, Lucky, what do we got? What do we got that I'm playing heaps of? Hey, that is great. Oh, is it Roussan? Oh no, it's Chardonnay. Never mind. Hey. 2018. So it's been properly oxidively handled. Yeah. Can you flick it? Talk? Yeah, absolutely. There you go. So this is Moon. This is a oh, super cool. uh, yeah. natty producer from, well, naturalish um, producer yeah. from Goulburn. Nagambi. There you go. Yeah. Never mind. I've got a Goulburn Terrace vineyard. So it must mm. it's the street. Yeah. But yeah. overall, I think that's a fantastic little wine. Um, yeah, that's awesome. And for 40 bucks, holy shit. Yeah, Lovely. That was great. Yeah, super oxy though, you're right. Got three varieties right in a row. What's going on? Finally, uh, a awesome little medium weight, early picked, sappy, tanniny. Um, red of some variety, probably like a Grenache or something like that, maybe from the Adelaide Hills. Right. So, cool. what have we got? $42. Oh, there yeah, we go. Makes no. sense. Makes heaps of sense. Yeah, uh, cool. We, awesome. lo we love Frappato here at Nunico Zello, and this is one of the kind of better producers of it in the world. IGP, lovely little um, Sicilian producer, but yeah, super hands off producer. Um, and makes sense that it's kind of steamy, sappy, high acid, which that is Rapato, and that is Sicily, which lovely, kind of feels New World anyway. Yeah, and there's that lovely savory note at the end. There's this lovely kind of like rolling kind of like cinnamon spice. Not, not cinnamon spice, but there's this nice kind of like complexity, which you wouldn't get from New World. Well, fuck, that was some of the best value wines that yeah. we had on this show um, just ever. Just for the people watching at home, number three and number four, you'll hate them, don't buy them because <laughs> You'd okay. hate it. Please don't take the stock. I want it all. Yeah, whereas I think me and Amanda will be snapping up that moon shard. Yeah, that boy Those over there. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. I, we're on the money there. First right. two, though. Like, go for ten bucks. Um, and that's us for this week. We'll see you next time. Ciao! <laughs>